Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Rune Words. Today, we are going to be talking about the rune word Dragon. Dragon is a very, very interesting rune word, uh, because much like Dream, it can be stacked together with itself for a double effect. And, uh, and while it can be put in a Paladin Shield, it can also be put in a regular Monarch Shield as well. So if you were a Paladin, or if you were a Sorceress, and you were trying to run dual dragons, which is totally a thing, um, you, can, uh, you can build this in a Monarch and an Armor, or you can build this in a, a Zacharum Shield and an Armor. And obviously the benefit of putting this in a Zacharum Shield or a... Uh, or any of the Paladin shields um, that you might want to choose, it doesn't have to be a Zacrum shield, um, is that you can have the all resistances already on the piece of armor. So for instance, mine has all resistances 45 because it's the cap for that particular resistance. So that way I have all resistances 45 with the other effects of Dragon. Now, uh, the Dragon armor, as far as I remember, does not have a lot of, uh, of variances, but it does have some, and uh, we'll go over them as we... Uh, as we talk about it. for uh, Just for clarity's sake, let's go with the Monarch Shield, because I don't want to confuse you with the extra stats that come from the, uh, the Paladin Shields. So, first off, we have a level requirement of level 61, which is uh, due to the, uh, I believe it's the Low Rune or the Sir Rune, one or the other. Um, that is the, uh, the level that that requires when you put it in an item. So you do have to be at least level 61 to use this. It is three sockets, so it can be put in a wide variety of shields. Um, you don't necessarily have to put it in a Monarch shield. Uh, you could put it in a, um, a Grim shield or a, uh, a Troll's Nest. I believe the Grim shield is one of the best shields you can put this in if you were a Sorceress, uh, because it has one of the higher block chances with the least penalties, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I think the Troll's Nest has, has lower... But, uh, but, you know, it's the, the shield that you put this in is up to you. And then, honestly, it could very well just be style points for all you care um, if you're not actually using it for blocking. <laughs> so we have a 20% uh, chance to cast level 18 Venom when struck. And uh, level 18 Venom is, I believe, somewhere around 400. I want to say 400 damage, but I could be wrong. Level 18, 375 to 395. So yes, around uh, around 400. It's like 380 average damage uh, for the Venom. And do keep in mind that Venom is very quick. It is a 0.4 second duration, which means that uh, when you hit a target with it, it's going to apply almost the entire damage instantaneously. It's, uh, it's actually kind of confusing because you would think that as Venom is a poison skill, that it would be a, uh, a slow burn, but it's not. Venom is actually very, very fast. We also have a 12% chance to cast level 15 Hydra on striking, uh, which level 15 Hydra is going to do approximately 120-ish damage, so it's 111 to 131, um, and that's going to be per fire bolt, and it has a duration of 10 seconds, so during that 10 seconds, the Hydra is going to continually fire 120 damage fire bolts at the target over and over again until he dies. And, uh, and it ends up being a lot more damage than you would think, especially when you spawn multiple of these. Like, for instance, let's say you uh, manage to get like six or seven of these up at the same time. You know, you're, you can multiply out 120 times seven times probably like 10 to 20 bolts before they disappear. You know, it's, it's, it's a rather large number of bolts because it's three heads per Hydra. And uh, you know what? <laughs> let's pull up a calculator and let's calculate this out real quick, shall we? So let's assume that you were able to spawn six hydras. All right, so six hydras times three heads per hydra. All right, so that's 18 heads. Each head is, let's say they fire one bolt a second and they live for 10 seconds. So 18 times 10. So that's, um, yeah, so 10 bolts in 10 seconds, which is 180 bolts times 120 average damage is about 21,600 damage if you had six hydras up all shooting the same target um, and that's not counting resistances so if you were to encounter a monster that had 75 percent fire resistance for instance that would be minus 75 percent fire resistance so you would be looking at 5,400 damage versus a target that is pretty heavily fire resistant it's still not bad and keep in mind, you have two of these effects running. You've got the dragon armor, and you've got the dragon shield if you're running both of them. 
We also have level 14 Holy Fire when equipped. Now, Holy Fire Aura is a Paladin Aura, and, uh, and this Paladin Aura is very strong if it is fully synergized. And this is one of the ways that uh, people use this armor. Now, what happens is, is when you wear both of these pieces together, the shield and the armor, the two auras will actually stack on top of each other. They unfortunately do not stack with the Paladin's Holy Fire Aura, so you have to keep that in mind. And um, what this does is it gives you the level 30 Holy Fire, which to get the level 30 Holy Fire stats, I'm going to have to go to Amazon Basin, which is um, a website that actually has all the level damages all the way up to like level 99. Most websites don't list past like level 25. All right, so at level, that would be what, 28? So 14 plus 14 is... 20 and then 84 plus 4 is 8. Yeah, so 28. We are looking at a minimum weapon damage of 219 uh, with a maximum of 231. The radial fire damage, which is what's going to hit all the targets around me, is going to be 36.5 to 38.5. Doesn't sound like much. However, when you stack it with the appropriate auras, so for instance, salvation and resist fire, um, you will increase the damage of holy fire by a rather massive amount and you will have maximum synergy for holy fire so whereas without it see if i can take off both these pieces you see i'm only doing 1699 and then when i put on both pieces now i am doing 3264 uh, with that holy fire i'm also running max conviction or rather level 21 conviction. So that when I go out and I'm fighting monsters with this aura, they're taking as much damage as I can possibly give them. Um, this can also be used with a sorceress uh, because sorceresses have fire mastery. Fire mastery will massively increase the amount of fire damage done by holy fire as well. And the other interesting thing here is that when you combine this armor with one of the other armors, you can actually put on a dream helmet as well if you wanted to. Um, and you could have a massive amount of lightning damage too added on top of the dream helmet, uh, so the the dream uh, dragon armor, the dragon shield, and then you get the dream helmet too, which I actually have one in the stash. I'm gonna save you the the ear terror uh, by not putting it on though, because when I have on two items that both give me auras, they swap back and forth constantly. And um, let's see if we can get. Um, a look at the weapon here so you can see the weapon is green that is the venom the venom is now activated which is 3700 damage so my damage is going up and uh, and the more times i attack here you'll see the hydras spawn there's my little twisters let's see if i can get some more hydras up so we've got two hydras And as you can see, we have a lot of Hydras. Like, just a lot, a lot of Hydras constantly dealing Firebolt damage. You know, and just, 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 just massive amounts of little tiny pinpricks, almost, so to speak. You know, because the Hydras don't exactly do a massive amount of damage on their own. They just simply... Spam. <laughs> they spam. So, let's get back to it here. So, we have 15% uh, enhanced defense that comes from the superior plate. Uh, we have 373 defense added. Now, this is um, a... Uh, I believe it's uh, static, isn't it? Is it static? I thought it was 360, not 373. Strange. The, uh, the shield is correct, and the monarch shield is correct, but the armor is not. I wonder why the armor is different than the others. Perhaps that is a variable, and... Uh, None of the websites that I have are showing that it is a variable. But it is not a very big variable there, so I think we'll just ignore it for right now. So it has a flat defense bonus, which is always going to be nice to have on an item. Uh, that This means that you could put it in a lower quality plate and still get a fairly nice defense bonus. Whereas when you have a percentage bonus, you want to make sure that that's in, of course, you know, the actual high defense plates because otherwise you're not going to get a good bonus enigma is very similar in the way that it has its own uh random flat defense bonus so it actually works in lower defense plates as well 
We have 230 defense versus missile, which is, I guess it's nice to have. Most people don't build it or anything. Um, we also have plus 3 to 5 to all attributes. You can see the shield is plus 5, and the armor is plus 4, so you get a random roll there. Um, we have plus 3, 0.375 to strength, up to 37 strength at level 99. Um, so this particular character is level 99. That's why he has the 37 strength. So a pretty decent amount of strength there from the plate, which is going to help you equip other pieces of gear, um, especially if you have some ridiculous thing like a 174 strength Corona. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, increases maximum mana 5%, which is always nice to have, but that is the armor only. So do keep that in mind. And you'll notice that if we go over to the shield there's no effect of that on there and that comes from the actual runes um, on the shield it is actually a uh, plus 50 to mana instead of uh, plus five percent maximum mana so uh so a difference there between the two pieces um, that uh, this one will give you the mana and this one will give you the maximum mana then we also have five percent to maximum lightning resistance which is on both the shield and the uh, armor plate and uh, damage reduced by seven which is always nice to have a little bit of damage reduced by it's definitely going to help keep you alive this one damage reduced by will help you against physical attacks um the beauty of this armor is that it gives you the holy fire aura so you can use this on just about any character in the game and just obtain level 28 holy fire um in hell difficulty as you run around with this holy fire aura it's not going to be strong enough to just murder anything that it hits um, you will notice that the holy fire will do a pretty significant amount of damage and with conviction added in it will hit pretty hard but that is not the damage that we're seeing on the panel here. The, 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 the proc effect of Holy Fire is different than the actual uh, damage that it's giving you on the weapon. Now, the really cool thing about this armor that I've always uh, thought, and these skills just in general, is that if you wanted to go into a lower level zone, like say, for instance, you were in normal difficulty for whatever reason, and, uh, and you built a pretty healthy amount of magic find, you could magic find in normal difficulty with absolutely no issue whatsoever. You go somewhere like Frigid Highlands with your broken OP Holy Fire and Conviction, and you can literally just walk around, and monsters will just die. Like, they literally don't have the HP to be able to withstand even the presence of your character, which I always thought was funny, like an anime reference, right? You can't even... Uh, mean you can't even withstand the pressure of my spiritual energy you know something silly like that and uh, and you can literally just run around and murder everything without even breaking a sweat now um as far as i know two of the main uses for this set uh, of armor is on the paladin with the appropriate holy fire synergies uh, which if you look at holy fire it is resist fire and salvation or on a sorceress with the appropriate fire mastery beefed up. And uh, let's go take a look and see what it would look like on a sorceress, shall we? All right, so here we have a sorceress, and uh, and as you can see, she is running three to six fire to, uh, <laughs> three to six damage, absolutely pitiful, right? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the dragon armor on, and then we're gonna put the uh, the dragon shield on. And as you see, she has one thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven damage um she is running maximum fire mastery and she also has maximum hydras so the hydras that spawn from this armor will also be exceptionally strong so let's give her something um let's give her passion so that she can run around zealing things and uh, there we go she's got her zeal and uh, let's see if i got a lost a skill item here for her Da, 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 da. There you go, a little belt. Just some plus to skills, so her zeal is a little bit higher level. And uh, and let's take her out and let's see how this works. So right now she's running the uh, the Passion Blade, which is increased attack speed and gives her the zeal. Uh, we're also going to give her uh, Enchant, because she has maxed out her Enchant. So she has 6,029 damage. Not bad. And then on top of that, um, we are going to give her the armor so let's grab frozen armor um 
And she's going to use Hydras on her right click. So we're going to run around and we're going to murder things with Hydras. Uh, do I not have... Oh, this character doesn't have Hell Difficulty. Boo-hoo. But as you can see here, we have 6,029 damage on the uh, on the attacks here. Our Fire Mastery is doing its job quite well. And in normal difficulty, just like the Paladin, we can run around and we can pretty much just walk over everything. Um, I could have sworn she had access to more than just normal difficulty, though. I guess not. But as you can see here, with her dual dragons and uh, and with her enchant she is rocking some pretty nice damage and she can in fact spawn hydras and run in there and attack things um, she can also uh, cast herself some defensive spells so she could use energy shield um, she could be using uh, frozen armor um, she could also uh, cast other abilities like for instance she could be using meteor or something along those lines or maybe she wants to use fireball it doesn't really specifically matter how you build this character um, you could even turn yourself into a bear um, if that's what you wanted and uh, and run around with your dual your dual holy fire uh, ness with a uh, with a beast axe if you wanted to and you can just beast everything to death with uh, with fanaticism with your holy fire aura with enchant and all of the above and uh, and these kinds of builds do actually exist and and they are quite fun and obviously the hydras are getting the synergy bonus from all of my effects so if we take a look at how much damage hydra does um hydra does level 1337 to 1530 with uh with a level 25 hydra the uh, Hydra that's on the armor is level 15, so we don't know exactly how much our Hydras are going to be doing, but they are definitely going to be a lot higher damage with the Firebolt and Fireball syn synergies, which we don't actually have to build Hydra, by the way, and this is important. So you don't actually have to put points into Hydra. You just have to put points into Firebolt and Fireball, and, uh, and instead you could do something like Meteor. Uh, that way you could grab the, uh, the Meteor damage instead, save yourself 20 points from putting it into Hydra, and you could be running Meteor. Of course, you can't cast spells while you're in bear form, so do keep that in mind if you decide to go that particular route, um, which is why I was using the uh, Passion Blade for Zeal. I figured that would be a little bit of an easier way to go. There's also the Dream Sorceress, so you could use the Dream Helmet, which I believe is on the Paladin, and you could stack that on top for some more lightning damage, which would also be affected by your lightning mastery if you went that route. All in all, it's, uh, this armor is a very interesting armor and definitely has a lot of very interesting uses. Um, paladins that use this set are actually called Dragon Paladins or Dragon Dins. Um, sorceresses that use this set, I don't know exactly what you'd call them, dra just Dragon Sorceresses, I don't, I don't know. Um, I feel like this uh, particular set, though, is a little expensive there with the Sir and the Low, and both of them require a Sir and a Low. So not only do you have to get your hands on two low runes, you have to get your hands on two sir runes. And, uh, and all in all, I think that this set is kind of ridiculous cost-wise. Um, if you are in a position where you can make this for yourself, then I guess uh, more power to you. But, uh, but for those of us peasants who are down on the, on the ground in the lowly dirt, uh, we'll have to wait for a little while before we can get our hands on two sirs and two lows to make this set. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, thanks for watching, and keep watching.